guys and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the basics in TradeStation okay so in TradeStation you've got three things you've got what's called desktop um, workspaces and windows now desktop is what you can see at the moment this is the entire um, TradeStation sort of platform is is what's considered to be the desktop now inside the desktop um, if you've got multiple screens you can have multiple desktops but the desktop is this um, interface with the file bar up here and down here you've got what's called workspaces okay so we'll create a new workspace you come here go to file new workspace okay and now you've got a workspace a workspace is an area where you can arrange charts um, and some of the other windows which are available in TradeStation okay so if we go to file new window this is where you get a list of all the different types of window available in TradeStation which you can load into your workspace okay so um, we can add in the radar screen um, and I'll add in a, uh, a chart so file new window chart and we'll do another one file new window chart chart analysis okay so once we've got the three windows you can come up here and you can arrange them by going to window arrange all or arrange horizontally or arrange vertically okay so we go with arrange um, vertically and it will change the windows like this now this chart here we might want to change this to a daily so we just type in daily and this chart here we, we might want say 60 minutes so we just type in 60 min and press enter and when you start typing into your chart window as soon as you start typing you can see it comes up here so if I type in here it comes up here okay so really easy if I wanted to change the stock um, I could just go to say Apple by just typing in Apple and it will come to Apple um, if I go back to the S&P futures we'll just type at ES okay so that's adding windows to workspaces now over here we've got our radar screen and you can type in all of your different um, assets, currencies, things that you want to trade um, you can have them all in uh, the same uh, one sim single window now um, that's basically the, the, the sort of basics of TradeStation what I want to show you now is the idea of linking charts and linking time frames okay so for this example I'm going to add in another um, two charts okay file new window new chart okay window arrange all right so now we've got sort of several charts which I'm going to make so that you can see to make this easier for you to understand what I'm doing I'm going to do this okay and do this right uh, let's make that a bit smaller okay so now we've got four charts and our radar screen okay so what you can do in TradeStation is you can link charts uh, you can link all the windows basically by what's called an interval which is obviously your time frame or by symbol which is obviously what asset you're, um, you're looking at okay so if I come over here and I click on this uh, S icon okay you can see what's called uh, a local symbol link and also a global symbol link so a local symbol link um, works within this workspace a global symbol link works across all workspaces so I'll just show you that in a second so first of all I'm going to link this chart here with a green local symbol link to this chart here with a green local symbol link and I'm going to also link it to my radar with a green local symbol link I'm going to change this one to a blue local symbol link and this one to a blue local symbol link okay now you'll see um, what happens here if I click over here on Apple these two charts now because they're all linked together locally um, they will all change to Apple if I click Google they will change to Google um, if I was to change this interval here to say yellow and this one here to yellow 
okay we could now look at Apple over here in a 60 minute which you noticed also changed this chart over here and we're also looking at Google on a 60 minute okay if I change the time frame of Apple to say daily it also changes Google to daily because Google and Apple share the same interval symbol link okay so that's really basically how you link your charts together in TradeStation um, the difference between local and global uh, if I create a new workspace file new workspace we've now got a new workspace so we've got a workspace here and another workspace here in this window here I might want to add um, another chart okay and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to set this chart to have a global symbol link okay so that one is a cyan global symbol link and you can see this box has now got a round corner on it if I come over here and I change this to a cyan global symbol link okay if I now change this chart over here is now not linked to any of these locally it's linked globally which means it, it's linked across workspaces so if I come here and I type in Facebook and we get a Facebook chart uh, in a five minute now if I come over to my workspace over here I'm now on Facebook I change this to a daily okay I'm now looking at Facebook daily Facebook's retraced about 50% of its original uh, IPO let's change this to um, uh, Baker Hughes BHI you can see now this is BHI on a daily if I come back to this workspace it's changed this chart over here okay so that's how you basically link uh, charts to other windows and if I you know as I showed earlier if I change any of these they basically match up and you can have uh, different things linked across different time frames different windows and um, it makes managing your your charts a lot easier so another thing you'll notice is uh, the time frame over here is five minutes and daily we're looking at our interval over here they're on three minutes okay um, to change this what you can do is click that whole column come up here and change to say 10 minutes okay now the interval time for this is 10 minutes I come up here and I can change this again to 60 minutes now when you've got certain types of analysis technique in the um, interval makes a difference so that's how you change your interval inside your radar screen okay thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped